Hello there. In this video, I want to talk about what it means to containerize an application. No, I am not talking about simply packaging the application inside a Docker container or a Kubernetes pod. What happens behind the scenes when we say we containerize an application? As the name indicates, the goal here is to contain, to isolate the application in certain ways. For example, we may want to make sure that this application cannot see or communicate with other applications running on the same host system. We may also want to make sure that this application does not see or access resources it is not meant to access. In addition, we may also want to control how much of a certain resource this application gets. For example, amount of CPU, amount of memory, amount of disk IO this application gets. And there are some important kernel mechanisms that work behind the scenes making this happen. First is namespaces, the key kernel mechanism that provides application isolation. And there are different kinds of namespaces that provide different kinds of isolation. The PID namespace, for example, is the one that isolates an application in such a way that it cannot see or communicate with other applications running on the same system. The mount namespace helps us control what files and directories this application sees. And then we have C groups. This is the mechanism that helps us control how much CPU, memory, disk IO, network bandwidth an application gets. And then we have overlay file systems. You see, when we containerize an application, we want to bundle and package the application so that it has all the dependencies and only those dependencies that application needs. And overlay file systems play a critical role in helping us package and bundle this application efficiently. And when you have hundreds or possibly thousands of containers running on a system, you want to package these containers in an efficient way and overlay file systems play a critical role in that. If you have ever used a technology such as Docker, and if you have ever wondered how those Docker images are packaged, how they are structured, overlay file systems are the key mechanism behind that. So when you take an application and when you apply these mechanisms to that application, what you get is a container. So when you talk about technologies such as Docker and Kubernetes, these technologies are essentially using these key mechanisms behind the scenes to make it easier for us to containerize an application and deploy them and orchestrate them at scale. So hopefully that gives you an idea, a high level idea of what containerization entails. And if you're interested in learning more and digging deep into each of these areas, then you may be interested in my course for which I have a link in the description.